Lightseekers. So, Lightseekers is what we call next level connected play. We've brought together three things in a way that's never been done before. We've got a free mobile and tablet action and adventure game. We have these super cool smart action figures that light up and talk. And we have a full training card game. So let me talk you all through it. So first of all, we'll have a look at the, the Light Seekers game. So we have both action games and an adventure game. The action games are shorter, fast-paced multiplayer games. The adventure game is a longer quest experience. I'm going to show you that first. So let's jump into the adventure game. You can use jacks for that. So if I hit play, I'm going to grab jacks here. You're going to connect him in into the game. So he's talking with the game two-way communication. And that's happening through this little thing. This is our Fusion Core. This is a high-tech mini computer. It powers the lights, the audio, the Bluetooth connection with the game, the vibrations, the gyro. This thing is loaded with technology. And it's transferable between all of the other light seekers. So my investment in this can be transferred between other figures. Jax is a seven inch collector grade smart action figure. As a kid, he's brilliant as a toy. He's fully articulated, I can play with him. There's no wires, there's no portals. He's great fun. And when he's paired with the game, he really comes to life. So let's have a look at that. So first of all, I'm gonna show you a really simple example of the two-way communication between Jax and the game. So within the game, I can tap to move. It's nice, simple, easy attacks. And the first thing I can do is I can run into this group of enemies. Now, they're gonna start attacking me. My health is gonna start dropping. Now, Jax is not gonna like this. So he's gonna start reacting. So soon he will talk. It's hard to hear. Now, we get the lights. He's warning me I'm critically low health. And now I've died. So that's not very good. So let's go again. Let's go into combat, let's fight back. But this time, we're gonna gear up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the accessories. So this is Jax's Spin Blade 3000 accessory. So what I can do is I can pop that into his left hand. Instantly, the accessory appears in game. And these accessories are cool because they actually level up. So as I play and progress through the game, my progress is stored on the weapon. So what I can do is I can borrow a weapon from a friend. And not only do I get the progress stored on that weapon, but in this case I borrowed one of Cora's weapons, one of the other characters, and I'm now a tech character doing water damage. So that's giving me a lot more options in combat doing different elemental damage. So that's really cool. I'm just going to pop Jax down for a second. And we'll have a look at the training cards and how they interact with the game. So, the training cards are a fully playable standalone training card game. Here at EGX, we have a whole area devoted to teaching the training card game. People are buying into the starter packs, they're playing in the tournament, they're having a really great time as an offline training card game. But you can also take the training cards and you can scan them into the Lightseekers app to bring them into the world. So let's have a look at that. So first of all, I'm gonna grab the Cora card here, and I'm gonna bring this card into the game. So to do that, I'm gonna click on the camera icon on the app. I'm gonna grab the card, I'm gonna show the card to the camera. You get this really cool effect as Cora leaps out of the card in augmented reality. I claim that card, it's now mine. And when I activate the card, Cora will drop into the game, 
and she will now fight alongside me as I jump into combat. So that's super cool. This has an effect over three turns. So on the first turn, nothing happens. After one turn, it rotates, but still nothing happens. But if, if my opponent hasn't dealt with this card by the third time it rotates, it does 16 damage to them. And that's about half their health. So that's a devastating attack. In the adventure game, the card does something similar. So let's have a look. So we can bring the card in. There's Jax. He's holding the smart bond card. We're going to claim that card. That's now our card. And when I activate it, now I have my smart bomb down here. And when I deploy this, there's going to be a delay as there is the fuse goes off and it's going to do a big attack. So let's jump in. So there, I'm in combat. I can tap to attack, I can use my various abilities, but if I deploy my smart bomb, I do a devastating attack, a radial attack, and just wipes everything out. showing our reserve of rockets. Yeah. So I'm showing no out, 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 I'm showing out, no out, mercy out. here whatsoever. You can tell. It's like, there we go. <laughs> so this is one of the action games that's 
in Light Seekers. Yeah. We also have a momentum challenge, which is all about speed and getting to the end as fast as possible. We have another challenge where enemies will spawn and you have to stay alive as you shoot them down. Yeah. And then we have like a whack-a-mole game where, uh, like at the seaside, you can hit things down. So let's see how we did. 200 points. Oh, 200. I concede to the better man well of the day. Done. Well done. Well done. Well done. So, so that's Light Seekers. So, a free mobile and tablet game, iOS and Android. You can download this now for free on the app stores. These really cool smart action figures with accessories and a full trading card game that I can play with my friends.